Hi! Welcome back to my channel! In today's video, I'll be covering all about hydrating our body. Why is important, how to do it correctly, how much water to drink, benefits, running out a simple test to find out if we drink enough liquids, how we lose water, consequences and deshydration. If you like this type of videos and you are interested to learn more and change your lifestyle, don't forget to like this video and watch till end. In this video, I'll be covering only how to hydrate the body correctly as there are more aspects of hydrating our body like hydrating the hair, hydrate the scalp, hydrate the face or the neck, hydrate the lips, hydrate the hands, hydrate the knee or elbow, hydrate the feet, hydrate your legs maybe after shaving, hydrate your nails, cuticles and yeah, there are many more. All about those, I'll be covering them in my next videos. Thank you for that and make sure to subscribe. After all I said, let's jump right into it. Because our body is made up of 60% water, which is the most abundant, 18% carbon, hydrogen is 10%, nitrogen is 3%, calcium 1.4%, phosphorus 1.1%. When we do effort, we can lose quite a lot of water. Water helps the body to function better, to regulate body temperature, brain, tissues and joints functions, to transport nutrients, blood pressure, kidney, proper functioning of the nerve cells or digestion. The water is very important for muscles and joints because it helps the formation of joint fluid and preserves the normal activity of the muscles. Water is the main consistent of the body. The body needs water to survive and function. Of the total amount of water consumed, usually 30% comes from food and 70% from drinks, but those percentages can vary greatly depending on the diet. Other liquids besides the water that can hydrate us are fruits and vegetables, juices, soup, milk, herbal teas, even caffeinated drinks like coffee or acidulated juice are liquids that keep us hydrated if they are consuming moderate amounts. Here are other criteria that must be taken into account when drinking coffee or acidic juices because they cut us from calcium, but we will talk more about those in another video. Medical experts recommend drinking at least two liters of water every day. How to stay hydrating during the day? Always make sure to carry with you a bottle of water. This will give you the instinct to drink. If you don't like plain water, you can add lemon, strawberries, cucumber, mint, or many others to turn it into a refreshing drink. When you exercise, make sure you drink water before, during, and after training. Start and end the day with a glass of water. Drink when you wake up and when you go to bed at breakfast, lunch, dinner, or drink a little water every hour. When you are hungry, drink water. The sensation of water is often confused with that of hungry sensation too. Hungry will not be satisfied with water, but in fact, drinking water will induce the feeling of satiety and reduce the feeling of hungry. That's why it is recommended to consume a lot of liquids during weight loss treatments. If you can't remember to drink liquids, try to organize yourself in this sense. Benefits The water is really important for health. Water prevents premature aging. The application of creams and lotions cannot replace the water in the body, so water is very necessary. It gives elasticity to the skin. Water maintains a slim figure. It is excellent in accelerating the metabolism and inducing the feeling of full. Water has an energizing effect. Severe fatigue and headaches can be treated with just a glass of water. Water increases resistance to stress. Because the brain tissue is composed of 70-80% water, deshydration leads to increased sensitivity to stress. So we must drink water through the day. Water improves physical performance. By supplementing water consumption, you manage to better withstand physical training. The liquid in the body is eliminated every day when we go to the toilet, through sweating, and when we breathe. It will be lost faster when the weather is very hot, 
when we do physical exercises, when we are sick, when we have fever, when we vomit, have diarrhea, suffer from certain kidney disease or uni urinary infections, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding or try to lose weight. All this can lead to a rapid decrease in the volume of liquids to deshydration if they are not replaced in the short term. Because we are different and the needs regarding water consumption to prevent deshydration will be different. Some people that show an increased risk of deshydration are the elderly, the sick and athletes. If you are worried that you are not consuming enough water, check your urine. If it is constantly diluted, colorless or light yellow, you are hydrated. And if it is dark yellow, you clearly need water. Simple test to see if you are hydrated. To check if you are properly hydrated, you can squeeze, pinch the skin on the back of your hand for a few seconds. If it returns to normal quickly, you are hydrated enough. If not, you need to drink more water. How do we know when we are deshydrated? So, the small amount of liquid present when urinating or the lack of urine, drowsiness or fatigue, increased thirst, headaches, confusion, feeling dizzy, discomfort with light or lack of tears. Do not wait for those symptoms to appear before taking action. Try to prevent deshydration by drinking fluids. Now, let's see how much water you drink during the day and when. If you like this type of videos and you are interested to learn more and change your lifestyle, don't forget to like, comment if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel and definitely remember to press the notification button if you haven't done it so far so you will get notified once I upload another video. Remember, if you are not a water consumer and you want to consume water because we all know the benefits of water and you don't know how, Try to prepare yourself an aromatic, simple, easy and cheap drink. Add a few pieces of lemon or lime, cucumber, mint, ginger, aloe, strawberry, orange or something that you like to a bottle of plain or mineral water or mix them together. It will give it to you a super a good taste. Get used to take the bottle with you everywhere, anytime. You will create a habit in time and you will create a habit not only of carrying it, but also drink it. Make sure to stay positive, hydrated, and definitely I see you in the next video. Bye now.